welcome to tonight's vlog. Um, hi. <laughs> I'm feeling all kinds of uncomfortable, but hello, no, hello. it's fine. Sophie's next to me. Do you want to come hi. and say hi? hi. No. Hi. Come say hi. Look. Say hi. Hi. Flopsy. Hello. Right. Okay. We were hello. watching hello. Um, the crudes. Um, hi. 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 Okay, Sophie. Shh. Hi. Sit. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, Mommy, what? Believe it or not, this morning I actually looked at the bed watch thinking, oh god, I've got to get back into it. I'm bored no, of it already me. and I've got another week and a half. What? Yeah. Um, I spent this morning doing some stitching. Um, I don't know how the hell I can go wrong in counting stitches, what? but I still managed to go wrong and it's like, oh my god. At least it was an easy fix, but I was kind of going, why am I wrong? Where am I going off on this? Um, so, go help Daddy. Um, yeah, I've kind of been left to my own devices. Sophie's been in and out. She keeps asking me when I'm up. Am I better? <laughs> I wish. Uh, yeah, am I better? Hang on. Sorry, just... <laughs> reaching for my watch because my alarm's going to go off any second. No, I'm not better. And there's no concept of time for her, so it doesn't help her. Oh, gold. Right. <coughs> Sorry. So, um, yeah, stitched for the morning. What joined in for Mrs. Coffee's Live. That was a bit of fun. Um, and um, had a shower, did some more stitching. And then I was losing light, so needed to put the stitching away. Um... One thing that did come out from both last night and today, um, I'll see, I'll see how quick I can get it, to be honest, is um, Mandy Manzano made a post and if you follow Mandy Manzano, she's Mandy Manzano Art on um, Instagram Let's see if it'll come up quickly here we go all right because I want to read you what happened and this is important for creators purchasers anyone who buys okay there was an ad placed by Paint With Diamonds. I can't read this bloody thing, it's tiny. Holy crap. They are seeking an artist to create stained glass style scenes. They want somebody, and this is what really galled me. They want someone, we're seeking an illustrator artist to create stained glass style scenes around various themes. We are looking to replicate this sort of style. And then they go and link Mandy's work, her Fine Art America pages, deliverable was something designs, 10 designs to start with more to follow, raw project files being PS, P, uh, PSDs, uh, you will provide reference material for each, we will provide reference material for each image required, contract may entered to long term, may lead to long term work. Okay, that's their ad, right? Now, Mandy has said, lol, seriously, you stink. If you're a company that does this, then you're an offish poo-poo. She's so cute. Don't do this to artists. Just don't. Artist friends, please be aware shady companies are putting out job hires for people to replicate our work when they can't steal or right-click on a high-quality file for the art that we post. Please be aware just a whole new low and she's got hashtag know your worth but what has happened then is <laughs> mrs coffee's got on board and a whole heap of other creators and i will read mrs coffee's post too so hang on anyway she has respond actually no i'll yes i will read this because i've got mandy's page open but mrs coffee's post kind of fits in in between Mandy has said thank you all. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all the outpouring of support you guys have shown for me and for other artists. I really do pray that there are stricter laws for stuff like this and that people realise they are stealing and hurting 
working artists, it's not okay to right click click to right click art and sell it as your own. It is not okay to hire other artists for pennies and try and replicate their style and exact art composition. It is not okay to lie to your consumers and scam them. There are much bigger things to worry about. Yes, I know, but this is not okay. And I was very angry at this because it involves hurting others and lying to them. But peace has settled back in, thank God, and I know what goes around comes around. I don't want to unleash ugliness. I would rather the other. Now this is where I love Mandy's heart. It's just incredible. I do not wish bad or ill will to anyone even these companies are rather peace and healing. I believe we should love one another and forgive those that trespass against us. So I'm asking, please stop doing this. If you're a company or a person, please do not steal from someone. It's not right. There are ways to grow together and support yourselves and your families. Please don't burn or lie to your customers. If you you do business right, you will have returning people and both you and your consumers will be happy. You will, sorry, you will know how to make your living and uh, and them knowing that they have a product that they are enjoying and having fun with. You can sleep at night with peace feeling that you brought a smile to their face. I'm asking you to stop now to realize what you're doing is wrong and start over and do the right thing. There are artists that would love to do the right, uh, sorry, would love an opportunity to create designs. There is art made by people for free for commercial use. There are many, so many options. If you have them, the resources, so if you have the resource to create a company, then create jobs too. If you're reading this, please look to your heart and realize that there is good that you can do and it's never too late to turn around. All that you can take with you is what you have given away. Mandy. She says then in her um, caption, it's never too late to do the right thing. Thank you everyone for loving us artsy fartsies. You're so appreciated and loved. Praying number 62426 over you all. Anyone reading this this holiday season, again, thank you. Um, then she's got a couple of hashtags. Now, in Mrs. Coffee's Live, and I'll see if I can um, get her easily. She is Mrs. <coughs> Mrs. Crochet and Coffee is the account you can have. Now, uh, right. This is all started with an image for I miss you being copied. Okay. And Mrs. Coffee went on a well justified rant. Okay. She said, I am taking this stand, not just for myself, but for every single artist that has had to deal with this BS. Starting now, I will ask all creators who love Diamond Art Club and an artist like Mandy Manzano Art. We have to stop these companies from pulling stunts like this. They literally put an ad out looking for an artist just to replicate her work. I don't care if you like me or my channel. It's time to come together as a community and spread the word. We will no longer stand for companies like Paint With Diamonds, stealing artwork and replicating it just to make a buck. We need to no longer support this company. So stand with me as I say, no more Paint With Diamonds. If they ask you to send a kit, decline. Make no purchase from them. And let's tell our subscribers that it's not a reputable company. I will no longer sit quiet. I will not let my subscribers buy this garbage. Tag all the creators you know in this post and stand with me by commenting, no more paint with diamonds. Let's show the company we won't stand for this. Okay, now she also went on and made a Facebook post following her live because there was a bit of discussion as to a hashtag and she came up with one, two actually. So I'm going to get the hashtags and I will try and edit them in um, my description. Oh, my mouse is being a bit of a douche. It's trying to pull things rather than click on them. Hello, are you doing something? There we go. All right. So the hashtag is hashtag no more PWD. No more paint with diamonds. Okay. And the other one is uh, I think no more stolen art or something. Um, she might have put it under her Alicia thing. Okay, I will try and find both of the hashtags afterwards. Okay, point is, okay, and it's not just paint with diamonds, okay? Go and watch her, uh, Mrs. Coffee's live today in the first half hour, three quarters of an hour, okay? Um, 
<clears throat> what has happened is um, I've been on um, Facebook today. Somebody posted in, I think it was Donnie's group. Donnie's or maybe Ella's. May, it, I can't remember which. It was in one of the groups. They, pe they posted a picture of a cat-eared... Um, mystery diamond painting now the mystery diamond paintings are getting quite popular from cat eared lately you order it per size you order it per squares or rounds that's it you have no other control okay and the painting that this girl got was a 50 by 55 and it was chakra lotus chakra lotus is not owned by um cat eared it is a Diamond Art Club licensed to um, some Russian sounding name that I can't recall. But I got the details and I posted them on the page and I said, this is stolen artwork. And no, we're not having a go at you, the purchaser, because it's cat -eared. It's a mystery. You do not know what you're buying before you buy. So unfortunately, you've been duped. Now, it's going to have glow in the dark because that's what cat eared do, because that was the painting that I had got with cat eared. I had got a yin yang moon and tree. It was very, very weird. It looked like a funky fetus, as I've said. Sometimes people have got a moon. Sometimes people have got the yin yang. Sometimes people have got um, other images that, you know, are fairly nondescript. But this one was chakra lotus. It was stolen. So the post went up and I sent a message to Diamond Art Club saying, hey, just found out the cat eared are using your chakra lotus. And they said, cool, we'll pass it on to the section that does that and they will deal with it in due course. Cat eared are using stolen artwork. Lucy in Star or unfortunately is not responding when she's been told she's using stolen artwork. Paint with Diamonds used stolen artwork. Ever moment have used stolen artwork. Unfortunately, I have purchased artwork. There was a Graham Gherkin ripoff in the same way that the Mandy Manzano painting was done. Somebody has reimagined with Graham Gherkin's work. I have a video comparing this and why you should buy the original licensed image. There is a marked difference. And for the people who are saying, I think it looks pretty, you naive, stupid people. Seriously, don't piss me off being that ignorant. If you think that the quality is going to be there for an unlicensed image, you really have got rocks in your head. I'm sorry, but no. The image is going to be lacking in so much more than just the piece of fabric that it's on or just the drills. You're not paying your licensed people. You're supporting the stolen franchisees and it just goes deeper and deeper and deeper. And for you to turn around and say, but it looks quite good. Yeah. If you've never seen the original, sure, Fabergé would look good. So wouldn't Versace. Go buy your knockoffs on Chinatown. You're not helping though. And for people who say, but I can't afford DAC. Well, here's the trick. You go on to Diamond Art Club and you buy a gift card for $10. And you put it away. And then the next time you have $10, you buy a gift card. The next time you have 10 bucks, you buy a gift card. And eventually you'll have however many gift cards. Guess what? You can stack gift cards. There is no limit to them. I've checked this with Diamond Art Club and this was current when I spoke to them before. You can stack gift cards. They're not the same as discount codes. And when you stack your gift cards, it means that you're basically saving in advance. OK, so you can purchase your Diamond Art Club. Yes, the peanut gallery has arrived oh, because I'm ranting. Ranting, yes. I was just wondering if the, if the alcohol was interacting with your medication. Haven't touched the alcohol. Thanks very much. Haven't had my meds yet either. <laughs> Seriously, though, there are ways and means around it. There are ways and means to get a Diamond Art Club. You don't have to be stealing or contributing to an AliExpress that's still going to cost you 40 bucks. What do you think you're saving? Seriously. If you're willing to buy two from AliExpress and not from Diamond Art Club, you're fooling yourself. Okay? Buy your one from Diamond Art Club, have the quality and enjoy it. Yes, please. In that case, madam, uh, so to extend your stay at uh, Chateau Brown, while you're recuperating, I thought perhaps you'd like a small drop of the butterfly effect, 2019 Shiraz. Sure. 
southeastern Australia. Mm -hmm. I believe the grapes were grown 100 metres south of a dam with 7080s in it. Stealing somebody else's joke from years ago. Yes. Whose was it? Uh, Some Monty Python? No. No. No, Yabbies would be Australian. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Well, yeah, Who knows? Joke, yeah. mm. uh, anyway, let's just prepare your palate for the main course. Which yes. shall be here's. He's <clears throat> made me pizza and refused to put barbecue sauce on it. And just onion. to get back to reality. And onion. And onion and capsicum. Well, no, capsicum, I couldn't be bothered cutting it, to be honest. <clears throat> but it does add too much water. Right. Yeah. It's, it's nice colour stuff and everything. Anyway. Substandard pizza. <gasps> uh, yeah, yeah, uh-huh. Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh-huh. I'm not on the job when we get substandard pizza. Oh, my God. Anyway, seriously, though, there are ways that you can support the right companies and not support the wrong companies. Um, and standing up and, and saying your bit and supporting the right people is one way to do it. Um, so yeah, I have a Graham Gherkin that I did a comparison on. I didn't even realize that Leonard Aframov was the artist behind my ever moment that I bought. It's a night scene. You've all seen them. They're the black night and the bright colored raindrop kind of, you know, colored images. Okay. Leonard died beginning of this year or the end of 2019. Okay. He only had a few licensed images to DIY Moon Shop. That was it. He didn't have anything else. He wasn't licensed with other places. Um, he may have had jigsaws or other things, but he wasn't licensed to any other diamond painting company. And I didn't realize that when I went to Ever Moment. Now, there's more Ever Moments that I have seen, and I have sent messages to Zoe saying, hey, this is ripoff. I have been a member of the Moon Zero Club, I think it is, and the Sophie something or other on Facebook. They're both Wayne Zhao. There's a couple of them. There's Moon Crescent, Moon Zero, and Sophie Beauty. Those three, there's the one stable, right? And Wayne Zhao, the, um, the person there, suddenly started getting into turning pens and suddenly started getting into posting images. And I would comment whenever I saw it was an artist I recognized and you're ripping them off. The picture disappeared off the website, off the Facebook page, didn't necessarily disappear off the alley site though. You know, we, we have to speak up because if we don't speak up, how the hell is one artist going to do it? Um, you know, there are thousands out there of us buying this stuff or seeing it them in the shops. It doesn't take much to drop a letter to, you know, drop a message to the, to the seller in the store saying, hey, this image here, this is a rip off. Take it off your store. I'm not going to shop, shop with you again. And I'm going to tell all my friends. You think Mrs. Coffee or Rachel or Stitcherista or, hey, even, you know, little old me on my puny thousand subs. If you think we have influence, then we have enough influence to actually stop the sales too, as well as encourage the sales to the other stores. So, back us. Support us and support your artists. Because if you don't support your artists, you're not going to have them to support. If we let Mandy go down the tubes or JoJo's art go down the tubes, they're not going to be there for us. They'll stop creating and putting it in the public. Mandy will just draw for Rose and her husband, and that's it, and we'll lose it. Do you really want that? Because that could do some serious damage to a struggling artist. You know? You got Vincent van Gogh, had depression, chopped off an ear, then committed suicide. Many, many artists go through depression that you yourselves, you diamond painters, say that you go through. How many times have you gone down that dark tunnel and thought you can't get out of it? Do you want to send your artists down there as well? Think. All right. I'm getting back to my vlog. I've had my rant. I'm trying to get comfortable now. <coughs> and not spill wine. Goodness. So, I have three of these. I said I would open three of these. Okay. Um, I've got eight, nine, and ten. Frog themed in my sassy pouch. Ah, I've got the thread cutter. These are cool. I use these 
This is a, a pendant thread cutter. You can take these on your plane because they don't have any sharp bits. You can put them on a ribbon, on a leather thong or anything else around your neck. You could even make your own pendant um, chain, okay? These are really, really good. And I use it with, uh, I think this one is in peppermint purple, actually. It's in my peppermint purple. Um, nine. This is um, rather large. Ooh, wow. It's an ergonomically designed stitch picker. Now my stitch pickers are the shitty little AliExpress skinny little handle things that hubby actually printed a large handle for and I love it. I actually use these, believe it or not, for scoring my diamond painting opaque covers um, that you, you can't see through very very handy um i haven't been using it cross stitching though and this is number 10. no idea what the hell this is <coughs> hope we get back to some froggy themed stuff uh -oh. what the <laughs> oh my god they're little mascara brushes <laughs> not they're not they look like little mascara brushes, right? It's for sweeping the flossy bits after you've frogged a section. Okay? It says use these brushes after you have frogged to remove excess fluff and floss. Uh, the amount of frogging I've done on this project so far, these would have been really handy. Jeez. So, there you go. A stitch picker, uh, a, a cutter, and some little floss combs really really handy thank you very much carolyn and melissa all right um yeah i'm i'm getting bored um i don't know i think i watched um up to date for dark materials i'm up to date on his undoing the undoing the one with hugh grant and nicole kidman um I've got one episode to go. I know who did it now, I think. And it's going to be a doozy, the final. I mean, the comments from IMDb said, there's a, t there's a twist in it that you wouldn't pick. But when you pick it, it's like, okay, wow. Um, yeah, I can see where it's going to go. Really, really interesting twist and turn. And um, yeah. Psychopath. Um, watching Magnum P.I., which is from 2018, with the Jose dude. No, obviously, it's not Tom Selleck. Um, it's interesting. It's weird getting back into it because it's, like, the old Magnum P.I., but not quite. Like, the music is identical. Um, Rick and TC, eh, a little bit different. You've got the sexy Higgins. Holy cow. Ju Juliet? No. Perdita, I think is her name, the actress. Um, she's gorgeous, she's blonde, she's skinny, and far out, she can bloody yoga. Yike. Um, <clears throat> what else? Um, 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 yeah, and I started to watch The Croods with Sophie. So she was a little bit annoyed that I stopped the program for me to do the recording. Um, yeah, so they kind of have um, that. Um... Okay, so if you want to know more about the licensed artist, geez, it goes right back to, oh, crap -a who was it? Um, was it Shine Like a Diamond? It was last year. It was a huge hoo-ha. She got copyrighted by an artist for showing artwork that was copyrighted. And she didn't realise it. And the flag that she got made her do a double check. And... Um, that then led to a whole load of artists pulling, uh, not artists, um, creators, pulling videos off the air because it was unlicensed artwork and they didn't want to get flagged either. Um, 
then there led to the whole discussion of licensed art and unlicensed art and who was doing the ripping off and it kind of died down in the last couple of months but with Mandy standing up with this kind of comment and Mrs. Coffey standing up for this kind of comment if if you do nothing else go to the artist go and watch Mandy and see what she says she's very very gracious Mrs. Coffey well yeah she's not so much why should she be she's an opinionated strong woman who is gonna say her piece and if you cross her she'll cross you back so if you don't like her, you don't like her well so be it but go and see what Mandy has said it's not right that the artists get ripped off follow the artists follow Jojo's art follow Mandy follow uh, all of them and um, Maria the goober is Maria the goober um, Erica the Goober, that one. Um, all these artists have a social media profile. Follow them. A lot of them are on Fine Art America. A lot of them have other sites that you can purchase legitimate licensed stuff. Mandy is selling masks, neck cowls. Jojo is selling his clothing stuff. Support them, you know. Um, Jojo, for instance yesterday put on a, a piece of um, fire and ice and the development from 2008 maybe 2006 whatever it was when he first did fire and ice maybe it was 2002 even I don't know he's still so young anyway point is he showed something from the early 2000s then he showed 2018 artwork which is the fire and ice we've seen on diamond art club the two wolves head together and the flaming and the icing kind of thing around their faces as they the the wolf fire wolf is snarling and the ice wolf is looking a bit more kind of chill um and then there's a new one that he has developed and it's a wolf running towards you with the fire and ice heads going out the side and there's paws in this one. And the difference even in two years for his artwork, sorry I keep knocking the table, the difference in two years for his artwork is phenomenal because he's kept on using his skills, he's kept developing and that's what artists do. And what, um, for instance, the Black Needle Society, um, who I am now a VIP for. I keep confusing whether I'm a VIP or a rep. The Black Needle Society, either way, that I am a vocal sponsor for, uh, uh, not a vocal sponsor, a vocal person for. They had a mug in the Hogwarts box that they did recently. And their description of a mug the artist put 100 hours of work into the art on the mug. 100 hours. Now it takes us about, it takes me about 72 hours to do a 50 by 60 in square. Okay. That's what I timed myself doing on my Huacan. I haven't timed myself since then. I just wanted to get an idea how long a piece might take. After that, it was more about the enjoyment of the process. So roughly 70 hours to do a 50 by 60 diamond painting. Okay, 100 hours of work put into this painting that then ended up on a mug. Now, it's probably a painting in other realms, but it's a painting on a mug. How long do you think it took that artist to get the skill to be able to do it in 100 hours to that quality? Yeah, it's taken years. We look at Chuck Pinson. He is a young man in probably his 40s. And the skill he has got in his artwork. We look at Dominic Davison. We look at um, David McLean. How long do you think it takes those artists to get the skill they're at? Look at Mrs. Coffey. She's been drawing for about a year and a bit. She's nowhere near perfect. But she's a damn sight better than she was a year ago. It takes time. I've watched even my daughter do art, my son doing art. It takes time and it takes practice. And we shouldn't be insignificant. My husband actually has a story about, uh, I think, and you probably have heard it before, an IT technician goes along to a job and the, um, the person who's paying him says, uh, I'll, I'll pay you whatever it is. Um, and the technician walks in and um, I'll pay you 
$2,000 to fix this. And the technician walks in and goes flick, flick, and he's fixed it. And the, tech, the guy is going, why should I pay you $2,000 for five minutes work? So how do you think I got to know that it was only going to take that to do the job? It was the amount of time and learning that it took to get to that level of expertise. Ask your husbands, ask your partners, ask yourself. How long does it take you to get as skilled at what you are in what you do best? Because it sure as hell didn't happen overnight. So credit the people who put the hard work in, in that area that has become their expertise and give them that honor and give them that due, okay? Um, we don't become experts overnight. And I don't think we should be allowing people to rip us off for trying to steal what we want to do, whether it's our ideas, how we do things or anything else. Um, so yes, just support, support the things that you would want to be supported in yourself. That's all. All right. Um, yeah, I'm going to go. It's been a long one. Um, it's been nice chatting though. Uh, <laughs> and I can smell pizza. It smells good. Um, I've got my drink and I'm going to tidy up. I'm going to watch a movie with my kid. Actually, no, I probably won't because she'll be in the lounge with hubby. Um, and I can't sit in that space for tea. The back can't take that position. <clears throat> um, so, yeah, I'll be isolated down in my room. Sniff. <laughs> Think of me all alone. Peace and quiet. <laughs> God. I'll be stir crazy by the end of this. I'll, I'll be talking to the walls. I'll be doing a Pauline. Um, 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 what was her name? Pauline? Um, she went to Greece. Um, yes, she fell in love with herself. Pauline Collins, where she talked to the wall. Mm, yeah, I'll find out the name of that movie too. All right, look, I'll get this uploaded. Um, I, if I get the hashtags, I will put them in. I may do it tomorrow, so they may not be immediate. Um, but they are on Mrs. Coffee's group. Uh, Crafters Anonymous with Mrs. Crochet and Coffee and Rachel Ray. If you support Rachel and you don't like Mrs. Coffee, join the group anyway. Get over yourselves. Um, you know, Mrs. Coffee isn't all bad. Five stars, oh my god. Yeah. I I've got a tray and a I've, got, I've even got a rose. Where have you got roses? Uh, I've got them hidden in the garden. Right. Okay. It's, it's, not, it's not the best, but it's the only one that's sort of out at the moment. Oh my god, look at the look at the pizza. Uh, hang on. No, that's the boring side. Oh. Look at that! That looks amazing. Mm. All right. Doesn't it always? Um, no, that looks rotten. even better. Well, you can rub it. And look, he got me. He got me a rose. And it's got the. Did you smell, the Sophie? It's got the in the water. Don't, don't forget to leave us five stars. Oh, okay. Jeez, hey. it's kind of hard to leave five stars. Well. Yeah, my drink. Leave it. No, go get your pizza. Thank you, Sophie. Love you. <coughs> All right. Take care of yourselves. I will talk to you tomorrow. And um, yeah, see what other shenanigans I get up to in the bedroom. Yeah. <laughs> Don't ask. Bye.